your NBC 26 update. I'm Stacey Angabretson. Sheboygan police say a child has died after being hit by a city garbage truck. It happened about 1030 Wednesday morning near 14th and Center Avenue. The child was riding a bike when they were struck. The intersection is expected to be closed for several hours due to the investigation. Grand Shoot police have identified the man and woman found dead in a home Monday morning. They are 40 year old Kua Zhang and 36 year old Se Chang Zhang. Investigators say their bodies and a gun were found inside a locked bedroom at their West Roberts Avenue home. Police say they both died from gunshot wounds, but how the incident unfolded remains under investigation. Police believe the public is not in danger. A large scale drug raid at a Grand Chute Hotel could be the largest meth bust ever in our area. The Brown County DA says officers found about 60 pounds of methamphetamine, two pounds of heroin or fentanyl and a gun when they searched a room at the Wingate by Wyndham Hotel last month. The DA says the bust has put a serious dent in the region's meth supply. A 26 year old Kokona man now faces federal charges. The Wisconsin Humane Society in Green Bay is caring for 65 cats after police requested the animals be removed from, quote, deplorable conditions in a home. The cats, which are mostly young adults, Siamese mixes, need to be evaluated and possibly treated by veterinary staff before they can be adopted. The Humane Society says animal hoarding is a serious mental health problem and they urge people to reach out for help. Time now for a check on your weather. Cameron, a repeat performance today with our beautiful weather. Yes, but our stretch of beautiful weather is coming to an end. Today is going to be the last really nice day because things, <clears throat> excuse me, are going to start to change tomorrow. You can see we've got temperatures around 70 today and we've got tons of sunshine. It is absolutely beautiful out there, but there is a cold front now quickly approaching from the north and west. That cold front is going to increase the clouds across the area tomorrow, give us rain and thunderstorms on Friday, and then much colder weather as we head through the weekend. Your forecast for tomorrow calls for temperatures to once again be above normal, but we're going to have a lot of clouds instead of a lot of sunshine. Look for highs in the mid to upper 60s. For your latest news, sports, and weather, make sure you download the NBC 26 News app. It's free. It's available in the App Store and on Google Play. Just search for WGBA. Have a great weekend.